Under the current exempted fishing permit, or EFP, issued through NOAA Fisheries, Louisiana anglers may harvest red snapper recreationally in federal waters during times and seasons set by the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Commission. In order to participate in the harvesting of red snapper during the designated seasons, Louisiana anglers must possess both a valid basic and saltwater recreational fishing license and a recreational offshore landing permit, also known as an ROLP. One benefit of the ROLP is the opportunity for Louisiana anglers to voluntarily report their catch electronically via either the ROLP website or the convenient ROLP mobile app. Voluntary use of electronic reporting will hopefully provide LDWF with a larger sample size than standard dockside and telephone sampling, improving the quality of recreational landings data utilized to make future management recommendations. Voluntarily reporting your catch will also help LDWF analyze the potential value of self-reported recreational angler information and its effectiveness as an additional data stream available to provide timely red snapper management advice and recommendations. In order to participate in voluntarily reporting your catch, log on to your ROLP account as you would under normal circumstances. If you do not have an ROLP account, please go to rolp.wlf.la.gov to register for one. As mentioned before, you can accomplish electronic reporting of your catch via the ROLP website and the ROLP mobile app. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will focus on use of the ROLP mobile app. The ROLP mobile app provides a fast and convenient method for reporting your catch. You can download the app through the Apple App Store or Google Play for Android devices. Anglers intending to report their catch must declare or register their upcoming trips prior to leaving the dock. To do this, click the orange Trip Reporting button on the main app screen. Only one member of the fishing party should declare a trip and then report to avoid duplication of reporting. If you have no trips currently declared on your account, a new trip report message box will appear. Press the button to the right titled, Start Trip. First you must select the permit associated with the upcoming trip. You will then enter information such as the first and last day of your planned trip. You will then select if you intend to harvest red snapper during your trip. You will then enter your departure location and the registration number of the main fishing vessel you will be using or fishing from. Remember, you must answer all of these fields to complete the trip declaration. After entering the required information, press Submit at the top right of the screen. If you selected that you intend to harvest red snapper, you must reaffirm the EFP conditions before continuing. You will now be taken to the Trip Reports page that displays your open trip reports. A window will show that your trip has been successfully registered. From this section, the angler can either cancel the trip or enter catch information once the fishing trip is complete. To report your catch, click the orange Trip Reporting button on the main app screen. Please remember that only one person reports for the entire trip to avoid duplicate reporting from other anglers on that trip. Select the trip and then select the blue Edit Details button. Each day of the trip will be a separate entry. Select the day of your trip that you wish to add catch information. Then select the blue Fill in Details button. You must first confirm if you fished or not on this day. You will then add the number of anglers on the trip, including yourself. The vessel number and departure location that you entered when declaring your trip will already be present. However, if these entries need to be changed, you can select them and make updates. If there are no changes to this information, press Save at the top right of the screen. You will be taken to a basic summary for the trip. If you fished for red snapper on this day, you will select the box at the bottom of the screen with the word red snapper in blue text, even if you didn't catch any snapper on your trip. This will take you to the species report portal. You will then enter information about your red snapper catch, including the number of fish kept, the number of undersized fish discarded, and the number of fish discarded for other reasons. If you fished for red snapper and did not catch any, please enter zeros for the above questions. Your fishing effort report is an important piece of information for fisheries management. 
You will then indicate if you fished over an artificial reef, a natural bottom, or near a standing platform. You will then enter which offshore fishing leash you utilize through a handy drop-down list as well as the approximate depth of the water where you fished. Once you have completed the entry, select Save at the top right of the screen. You will then be returned to the reporting summary for this trip, and the number of total red snapper reported will be included in the report summary for this day. If no changes are required, you are ready to submit your voluntary electronic report. Press the back button at the top left to return to the Choose a Day page. Please take a moment to ensure all of the numbers being reported on all days of the declared trip are correct. Then again press the back button to return to the report page for this trip. If there are no other changes to be made, press the blue Sync Changes button. This will update the trip information you have just entered to your account. Once you've done this, you will receive a confirmation box informing you that your information is synced and prepared to be submitted. You should now see a green Submit and Finish button. Press this button to submit your entry. After selecting the Submit and Finish button, you will receive a final prompt to confirm that you are ready to submit. Again, if there are no changes, press Submit, and your report will submit electronically. That's it. Your catch information will now be shared with LDWF staff, who along with dockside and telephone sampling, will hopefully be able to utilize this information as a tool to better serve our anglers enjoying the abundant resources of the sportsman's paradise. Thank you for your assistance and for your interest in the LDWF ROLP mobile app.